Hello, this is Reverend Rochelle coming to you with a continuation of the Wicca 101 series. Today we'll be talking about the South. The South is, of course, the element that faces the South. The altar that you would place there um, usually has a red cloth on it, at least as per my tradition. Other traditions may do different things. They might have um, no cloth or they might use different colors. But in my tradition, we use red because red is associated with fire, the element of fire. Um, the elementals that live in the south are called salamanders. You would place a red candle on the altar um, in whichever tablecloth that you want and light the candle and connect with the element of fire. Take a moment to face the south. Close your eyes and think about what does the south mean? What is fire? Fire is drive. Fire is passion, enthusiasm. It uh, means action, so athleticism or um, it's certainly not anything that is stagnant. That would be the opposite. Um, so it is high noon, so there's heat of the sun. Um, in the span of a lifetime, the, if the east is a baby, then the south would be a teenager. Um, let's see here, what else can I say? The... Elements, I said again, are um, salamanders. Having things in balance would mean having enough energy to get things done, to do things. Having things out of balance would mean so much energy that everything's chaotic, helter-skelter, um, undirected energy. Or the opposite, which would be um, completely stagnant energy. So that's two energy ends of the spectrum of the element of fire and there are ways to balance those out but for now it's just understanding what the element of fire is all about so it's your drive it's your passion it's your will to get things done um, so to connect with the energy of the south Again, I ask you to sit before a temple, or the, before an altar. Uh, if you don't have an altar, that's fine. Just maybe place a candle on the on the ground and sit before it. And face the south. You can have an altar or not. You can use a red candle or a white candle. That's completely up to you. But I do recommend having at least a candle because especially for this element, it is the element of fire. And so looking into that flickering flame uh, will help you to really connect with this element. Jot down any thoughts, images, and feelings that you have that arise as you sit there and connect with the South. Because when you create your personal invocation that will connect you with the energies of the south it will or should or ought to have those images that trigger those kinds of perceptions and energies for you that's why we are documenting things in a journal as we go along also there are times when things come to us in the moment that if we do not write them down we will not remember them later and they are important keys for us they are personal keys or personal cues if you will and so I would invite you to spend some time doing that just taking the time to feel what the South is for you what it means for you and how to connect with it um, this is not going to happen overnight it takes repeated efforts on a regular basis to really connect with those energies. So I wish you all the best. Enjoy your learning journey with the South and we'll talk to you again soon.